Good day everyone, in this article right now, you will find out how much Andre de Reiter and the other ESCOM directors, the executive directors and the non-executive directors earn. These are the people on the ESCOM board and Andre de Reiter is, of course is the CEO of ESCOM. So here how much Andre de Reiter and other top ESCOM directors are paid and this is from Business Tech and you will find a link to this article in the description below this video where you can go and look at the tables and look at their pay breakdown. And they are actually people that have earned more than Andre de Reiter during their tenure but he's only been there for just over two years. So it's been very lucrative for him to say the least. Public Enterprise Minister Pravin Gordon has published updated salary data for ESCOM's board of directors including tenure and how much they are paid. So in other words how long they've been on the board, how much money they're getting and please go and look at the background of these people and connect the dots. In accordance with its memorandum of incorporation directors serving on ESCOM's board are appointed on a three year term which is reviewed annually by the government. Directors may serve up to three terms subject to government approval, Gordon said in response to a recent written parliamentary Q&A. So these are questions asked by parliamentarians and then a response has to be given. The data shows current chief financial officer Kalib Kasim is the ESCOM board member with the longest tenure of four years and ten months. By comparison, chief executive Andre de Reiter has spent the shortest amount of time on the board at two years and four months. So not even two and a half years yet, Gordon also detail how much each director was paid over the last five years, with non-executive director salaries ranging from a, around 600,000 to 1.6 million a year in 2022. By comparison, the writer is the highest earning board member at 7.04 million, while Kasim takes on 4.9 million. And then you get the table breakdown, and I please want you to click on the link and go and have a look at this and internalize. I'm not going to be the judge. You can be the judge because you need to understand where your taxpayers' money is going and you need to decide whether that is money well spent. The hardest job in South Africa, and now they're trying to make excuses, while the position of ESCOM chief executive has previously been described as the toughest job in South Africa. It is also one of the most scrutinized and the right and his team have faced increased scrutiny in recent weeks as the country's load shedding has worsened to record outages. And as latest advisory, ESCOM warned that it will be implementing stage 2 load shedding all week during peak evening hours from 5 to 10. Now I want you to think about whether you are happy with the situation or not. And the only way to change this is to change the governance system. These people are appointed by politicians that have to bet for the team that pay them the most money. So these people that control people like my past video where I spoke about George Soros telling government leaders what to do. You need to think who is telling Soros Ramaphosa and uh, Gwede Mantashe and Pravin Gordon and all of these people involved with ESCOM who to appoint as a CEO and who to appoint as board members. Like I said, Go and look at their history and track records who they're affiliated with and your eyes will open and you can connect the dots. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon. Thank you very much. Till the next video.